Tonight, access to mental health care for our veterans is now broader than ever before. A new approach to emergency care started this week, and as Devon Ramin reports, the goal is to help those who served our country when they need it most. It's a life-saving move enhancing critical world-class care for more than 18 million veterans. You know, serving in the military myself, I've lost a couple of my battle buddies to suicide. More than 6,100 veterans died by suicide in 2020, according to the U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs, which is why a new policy announced Friday through the Compact Act of 2020 will allow any veteran dealing with a suicide crisis free access to medical care at all public and private VA clinics. We want to make sure the veterans who seek care um, will be cared for. Eric Rittenberg is the suicide prevention coordinator for the Minneapolis VA healthcare system, where they field roughly 150 crisis calls a month. We're managing about 40 or 50 high risk for suicide flags. Numbers linked to alarming statistics. Things are tough. Which Rittenberg says is driven by several factors. Whether it's deployments, whether it's time away from family, the stress, um, the work-life balance. <laughs> thinking of the conflicts and wars going around the, the world, um, and that brings back a lot of negative feelings for veterans. Yet some, he says, choose not to seek care. Maybe they're worried about how am I going to pay for an ED visit. So there's still that stigma, right? Not not only with mental health and, and suicide, but just being from um, the military, right? Being stoic. I can take care of my own. Um, I, I'll be weak if, if I seek care. Yet there is hope millions will find strength at no cost after giving so much of themselves to our country. We need to be more open and we need to promote that. Uh, suicide prevention is a good thing. People need help. Now this new policy will include up to 30 days of inpatient or crisis residential care and up to 90 days of follow-up outpatient care. The VA will also reimburse veterans for ambulance rides to hospitals. Carla. Important outreach for some important people. Thank you so much for that story, Devon.